Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. My name is Tara. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. You know, you're already part of the what? Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. And if you're not a part of Grateful Gang, we love to have you over here. We're grateful to have you. We love you over here. We do digital budgeting as well as sinking funds, saving, paying off debt. But if any of that interests you, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Today's video is going to be a little different. I was tagged by JV Two Cents to do the 40 questions challenge where you get to know a little bit more about me. Here are my questions typed here. So if you see me looking down, that is what I'm looking at. Don't want to waste any time. So hopefully you'll learn something you don't know about me. Okay, question number one, do you have pets? No, I don't have any pets. And what's funny is that I grew up with so many pets in our house. We've had a turtle, goat, fish, birds, dogs, cats, <laughs> um, a snake at one time for a little bit, goats, did I say that? Chickens, like we've had almost everything you can think of, a rabbit some kind of reptile, but I don't have pets now. I used to have a fish, <laughs> but not in this home. And I'm allergic to cats, but cats love me and I love cats. And I used to have two pit bulls when I lived elsewhere, but no pets right now. Are you in a relationship? No, I'm not. I would like to be eventually just waiting on the right person. I wouldn't say I'm picky, but I do have standards of what I will, um, what I want. Okay. And number three, do you drink alcohol? I actually don't drink alcohol a lot. I will say I drink socially and y'all see I won't be going nowhere. So <laughs> not really a lot at all. Like I'd have to really feel like it. I don't want to become that person. No, not to anybody that drinks because they're stressed or they had a long day. So I try not to do that. But if like it's a holiday or if I'm out to eat, I might have a drink and I'm not a wine kind of girl. I don't like beer. Only beer thing I drink is that Budweiser margarita thingy. I will drink that, but I'm not like a beer person. I might have a red stripe, but it's not my first choice. First choice for me would be um, Jack Daniels. If you want to buy me a bottle, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, do you believe in God? Absolutely. <laughs> if you follow any of my channels by now, you know that I believe in God and that's on period. Hot dog or cheeseburger? I actually love hot dogs. It's something weird, but I only like my hot dogs burnt. <laughs> like, so if you're going to give me a hot dog, you got to burn it. They got to be some burnt on it. I don't want it. If I boil a hot dog, I will boil it, throw off the water, and then saute it so that it gets some crisp to it. That's the only, like, only way I really like my hot dog. But, like, say I'm going to go. I do like a hamburger cheeseburger, but I won't eat hamburgers from fast food restaurant like I've never had a McDonald's hamburger well if I have I've never had it in my like adult life I won't pick it a hamburger from Burger King McDonald's Wendy's none of them places if I have a hamburger outdoors it's got to be like from five guys where their specialty is hamburgers or something like that I've been giving y'all a lot of information favorite food so I don't know that I have a favorite food I have favorite food nationalities like I like Mexican food Chinese food Jamaican food those are like my top three if I had to have them on rotation you can give me Chinese food Mexican food or Jamaican food I'm Jamaican so I like jerk chicken and oxtail <laughs> um what do you drink in the morning water I don't drink coffee if I have to choose something hot it's gonna be tea can you do 100 push-ups no ma'am Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Maybe I could bust out five. And that's just maybe. I haven't tried to do a push-up in a long time. Favorite season. I'm actually an August baby, and I love summer. But if I had to choose, I think spring would be my favorite season if my allergies didn't kick my butt like they did. I think I would choose spring. Um, favorite hobby. Zumba. I hope that counts because that's what I do in my spare time. I love my Zumba. Zumba and YouTube. And... Yeah, those are things I like to do on my spare time. Um, do you have tattoos? I do not. When I was younger, I wanted like five of them. I had them planned out. I knew where they were going to be. I wanted a zodiac sign, but I didn't do that. Um, I wanted 
I still might and I really want this one tattoo and I wanted it down my back and I wanted it written in my grandmother's handwriting with like a scripture of the Bible that she chose written in her handwriting and then tattooed in her handwriting on me. Not 100% I'm going to do any of that. And then I wanted one on my foot. And my, all my friends was like, and I wanted one like here. All my friends were like, you want to put tattoos everywhere it hurts. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. That's where I want them. Uh, but I don't have any. Do you wear glasses? Yes. Right now I have contacts in. I do wear glasses. Y'all have seen them. <laughs> if I don't have them on, I'm as blind as a bat. Okay. Um, number 13. Do you have any phobias or fears? My phobia is space. I don't like to be, I'm claustrophobic. I don't like to be locked in. Like I noticed one time I accidentally got locked in like a closet. I freaked out. Oh my God, don't. I've had so many surgeries, not plasmatic or anything, but like medical surgeries. And every, I cried so hard the first time I had to have an MRI. I will never forget I was in that MRI machine bawling and the lady Alicia Keys I love you had to put on the Alicia Keys her latest album at the time and and I was listening to that and singing it and that's the only way I made it through that MRI I even when I was a little bit older because I was like right out of college when I was a little older I learned about an open MRI I tried to do that one and still they had to let me go send me home with medication and then go back. And the medication I didn't think was working. Xanax or something? I don't know, y'all. Claustrophobic. Okay. Um, and um, do you have a nickname? Tara is a nickname, basically, because my whole name is Tara Gay. But Tara is my nickname, I guess. Oh, <laughs> and when I was younger, they used to call me Chipman Chick. Chipman Chip. And that might not make sense to you, but I used to Jamaican way. Chipman Chipman, because I used to... <laughs> run into everything and like chip up myself so like damage myself almost you would say like so I would walk into walls I've walked into a stop sign my equilibrium has been unbalanced since I was a youth okay I have been clumsy my whole life um but nobody really calls me that anymore um let's see what is your favorite candy I'm, I have a favorite candy but I do well I do love me some now latest that's why my mouth is red right now but I will say, I don't know if I have favorite candy. On the candy spectrum, I'm more of a fruity candy over chocolate. On the fruity side, I love red, pink, Starburst. Like that, like those kind of fruity, oh, and mangoes. Anything mango-y, right? But, and pineapple. So anything that's like tropical fruity. And then on the chocolate side, I love the Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Um, oh, and the Hershey's has a little chocolate one that has like the toffee in it. That one out of that pack is delicious. And so are Ferrero Rocher's. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> um, do you believe in ghosts? Yes, ma'am. I'm pretty sure I've been held down by one in my sleep as well. I don't, I don't mess with them ghosts. I will sage, I will pray, I will go up and down. Don't come to my house, please. Um, rain or snow? I'm, a, I'm up from up north, so I've experienced snow, and snow to me is not fun, okay? Snow to me means shovels and salt and wearing down the tires and making me tired trying to stuff myself out of things. So me, my friends, is a rain girl. Give me rain all day, especially if I'm home. Like, to me, my windshield wipers can clear the rain. I, I, just try not to hydroplane. For me, ice, snow, and, snow comes with ice, and ice comes with black ice, and black ice means slip and slide, and I didn't see that coming. At least I can usually see the puddle of water on the floor with rain and can try to dodge that for not hydroplaning. And, like, yeah, I mean, and for rain for the sleep, let me be home. Let me be home when it's raining. Rain sounds is what I go to sleep with at night. So, yes, I love rain. I don't know why all of these got to come with a hella explanation, but that's just who I am. Y'all know I talk. 18, do you know, do you have any piercings? Yes. <laughs> I have an ear piercing. I actually have a second hole piercing. I think y'all can see it right there. I don't think it's closed up, but I need, I need to find like a little hoop because the ones with the little backs always dig into my ear and I don't like those. Outside of that, I don't have any other piercings. I wanted that septum. No, 
Yes, I had wanted a septum at one time, then it scared me. And I remember I really wanted an eyebrow piercing like that one time. However, someone had told me that your eyebrow and bone was going to collapse underneath. And I was like, no, I'm okay. Um, what is your age? Y'all nosy. It's like, no, I'm 41. Um, French fries or onion rings? Uh, French fries. And I like curly seasoned french fries to be exact um onion rings i don't like the i love the flavor of onions and i will cook with them as long as they're cooked all the way down but like an onion ring has a whole onion in it and you snap and you bite nah it's not for me fam um do you have any children i do not i've got lots of nieces and nephews i think i'm up to nine now i don't have any children i'm not going to have any children uh what is your favorite color my favorite color used to be royal blue I think my favorite color now is red, but my, I don't really have no favorite color, man, because I change. I like all the colors, but if I had to pick a color group, y'all shouldn't give, ask me these questions. I'm just going to give y'all groups of things that I like. I'm going to say now as an adult, my favorite color group are earth tones. So I like rust and sage greens and army greens and... um olive green and like beige and tan nature brown natural earth tones that's what i like um where am i at can i sing y'all ever hear me try and sing on these things no i can't sing but that don't gonna stop me from stopping they ain't gonna stop me <laughs> I am not a singer now. My One of my younger sisters, the sister in the middle, she can sing. She can sing, sing. I did not get that gene. I cannot sing, but that won't stop me from doing it. <laughs> can you whistle? I actually can, but not well because in the Jamaican household, whistling for girls was not really a thing. Girls don't whistle, but me being me, I was, I was the tomboy in my group, so I'm going to learn. I'm not, See, I can whistle, whistle a little bit. I never learned that one, you know, the, that one, but I can learn, I can whistle a little bit. Um, where were you born? I was born in Jamaica. <laughs> I actually was born in Jamaica. I came here a while ago, uh, like at an early age, like four or five. So that's why you don't hear the accent or anything. I understand it fluently. I could probably speak it if I was talking to like my parents or something, but I choose not to with other people because they don't understand what I'm saying. And um, do you have any siblings? Yep. <laughs> I have got three sisters and one brother. And can you cook? I mean, y'all see me over here shifting it up. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't say I can cook. I think I started to learn to cook myself um, when I started to live on my own and realized, girl, you need to learn how to cook. So I kind of self-taught myself to cook, which is a shame because my grandmother be chefing it up. And I'm she, I guess they never really like, or we never really put ourselves out there to learn to cook like that. Or they never really sat us down. They sat us down to learn how to like strip chicken and things like that. But like to sit and cook, there was never any recipes or come cook with me vibes. So no, I had to teach myself how to cook, but I mean, I ain't going to starve. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. And now that I'm older, I will sit around and cook with my grandma and I'm learning her little tricks. Excuse me. Um, 28. Can you swim now? I know. I'm from an island and I absolutely can't swim. This is why I haven't been on a cruise. But I want to. But I need to know where the life is at and where the getaway boats are because I'm not going to make it. Um, well, I'm not going to say that, but I can't swim. <laughs> um, shower or bath? You can't, I'm a shower girl all the way. I wish my tub upstairs, my bathroom had a full-on shower with like a seat a ring head, a regular shower head, like towel all around, cute little pebble floor, glass slider. That for me is the bathroom of my dreams. I am not a tub girly. I wish, maybe it's because I never had, no. I was going to say, maybe because I never had like a brand new house with a brand new tub and I don't trust it that the tub will ever be clean enough to sit my butt in and sit. But there's something about, now don't freak out when I say this because this is the way I think about it. There's like something about, sitting down in a tub and then ruminating there. Like, I feel like 
all the crap that was on my body is just now in the water and I'm sitting in the water with all the crap that's on my body. Now I got to have a shower anyway. But that's probably not how it works, but I don't like, I don't like, I don't like baths because of that reason. Well, was there number 30, city or nature? I am a nature girl, 100%. I do like, I wish I could, but I wish I could have the best of both worlds. So I like would love to live in nature where I could go outside and hear the birds and see the trees, which I like my outside now, but I just want to be like 15 to 20 minutes away on a back road to like be able to drop drive my car, park it and walk around and go to like the city restaurants or the museums and things like that. I like the best of both worlds. But if I had to choose, I think I would choose like a house by a lake before a house with a view of the, the city. Um, what is next? Are you a good friend? You'd have to ask my best friend. I don't know. I feel like I'm an okay friend. I'm a hard judge of myself, so I feel like I could always do better. I text my friend, my best friends, every single day. I check on them every single day. But there is a part of me that I wish I could do more. Like, I want to be the friend that something big happens for them and I have the money to, like, surprise them with flowers or, you know, send them a send them a plane ticket to come visit me. I don't have the money for that, but I wish I could do things like that. I don't think that's what makes a good friend. I feel like being there for people when they need you and even when they don't need you just to listen or check in is a good friend. So I think I do okay, but I think I can always be better. Y'all have to ask somebody else. I don't know. Somebody else to do it. Um, have you broken bones? I don't know. Now, I remember I said I felt all the time. I feel like I've never broken... I don't want to lie. I feel like I never broke a bone, but I've definitely sprained, fractured, all of that. Especially like my legs, my ankles, wrists. When I was playing volleyball, I drove <laughs> playing volleyball and I sprained my ankle and drove from Jersey all the way to Virginia because it was spring break and I was getting there. And then when I got there, my nurse aunt, who I went to, had to take me to go get one of them splint things for my leg. And I drove back to, <laughs> but, yeah, I've definitely hurt myself. A lot. <laughs> but, you know, I don't think I've ever broken anything. How many TVs do I own? So, I have one in the living room, one in my bedroom, one that used to be in the living room that's now in the guest room, and then I have one just sitting on the floor <laughs> in the office. So, I have four TVs now? Yes, and I used to just have two, except I bought two for Black Friday to upgrade. Um, And I've had them for a while. Not the two I just bought, but the other two, they hold. But they was working, so what was your worst pain ever? I ain't had no kids, so it wasn't childbirth. Ooh, surgery. Surgery. I've had multiple surgeries, and every time they couldn't just put the little cute little laparoscopy holes in me. They had to cut me up and down, and I promise you, it's like they cut right through my abs. And when that medicine wears off, baby, and I had more than one of these surgeries, fibroid removal, like just we ain't gonna get into all that, but that pain, that pain right there, that pain right here, it's like you can't even pee because you forgot. It takes all the muscles that you no longer have connected to sit down on the toilet or get up from the couch. Ooh, and I don't like medicine. So like I'm the person that won't take the medicine they gave me. So I just suffer through moving on. Um, do you like to dance? Girl, I said my hobby was Zumba. I I grew up dancing. Like, I'm Jamaican. <laughs> I don't know if that means anything. But for anybody else who's Jamaican, but in our house, on Sundays, on Saturdays, and we was cleaning, the music was pumping, and everybody was cleaning and dancing. You didn't do nothing in the holidays. The music is pumping. Y'all will see on some of my vlogs, if we're having a barbecue or something, the music is pumping, and everybody's dancing. So whether you can dance or you're not dancing, you dancing. Or you can dance, you dancing. But I love to dance. Um, camping, I actually, at one point in my life, <laughs> said I wanted to um, be a backup dancer. But I was like, if I wasn't so heavy, I would be a backup dancer. That's why I've said that in life. Um, let's see. Camping, number 36. Camping or hotel? Excuse me. I think camping... But I have stipulations for this. I like both. Like, I feel like I, it depends on my mood. Because when I was, when I used to not have, like, 
any money. I used to, not any money, my idea of doing like my birthday up was renting a hotel and hanging out with like drinks and my friends and food and hanging out at hotels. So if it's a hotel for me, then it's going to be like a nice hotel. I would want a nice hotel with like a whole studio apartment extended stay. Outside of that, give me the camping. However, my camping experience needs to have toilets and some way to make some food. If you ain't got a toilet and a way to make food, even if I got to, you know, make a fire in a grill, I, I, I need those two things. I would, pre I would prefer to be in a yurt or a cabin than in a tent. But I wouldn't mind tenting it like in front of a nice lake or something if there was a toilet, okay? I'm not going in the woods. There, there are things out there and I like nothing. I'm not going to say what I was going to say. 37, do you like, do you think you're weird? Absolutely. <laughs> I do think I'm weird. And you know what? I love it. I don't want to be normal. I don't want to be unweird. Is that a word? I don't know. I think I'm quirky. I think I'm weird. Some people get me, some people don't. And it used to bother me, but it doesn't because I think I am who I am because the person that's going to love me is going to love me just the way that I am. And if you don't get it, then you just don't get me and you can move the heck on. And I think that's why me and my best friend get along so well because she gets my weird and she lets me be weird. And I love her <laughs> for that. Um, no, sir. What was I doing? How long have you been gardening? What is happening? Sorry. How long have you been gardening? <laughs> now? <laughs> now. <laughs> I, ha you know what? I want to know about gardening. I've had plants for a while. Like, if y'all have been following me since Tara Gay in the cold days, y'all knew I had a really big creeper plant. And um, I loved it. I love plants. Now, as far as the actual garden, my mom and my grandmother have a green thumb and I'm trying to learn from them, but I like plants. I'm like the plant lady and I kill them sometimes and I make them live. But so far, so far, everybody's hanging tough in here. Okay, except for that cactus. No. And I just planted zinnia seeds on one of my vlogs, so I'm excited about that. I am a gardener in training. <laughs> what is one thing that you'd like to grow in your garden? I would like to grow um herbs so i didn't start any herbs yet but i would like to grow some herbs the ones that i would use though like thyme oregano maybe basil um like those stuff like i wouldn't i don't like cilantro so i wouldn't grow it parsley like i would grow that um what is your growing zone i don't know georgia's where i'm at if you know what it is you 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 let me know I don't know. I think my growing zone starts in like me. <laughs> so, outside, I don't know. But that's it, y'all. I hope you learned a little bit about me. I appreciate you for being here, okay? I will make sure to tag some people down below, Candice. Bearing it all with Candice. I'm showing you out. If you haven't done this yet, let's hear your 40 question answers. I will link them down below no i'm not i'm not typing all these out i don't know y'all i'll figure something out <laughs> maybe i will type them all out but i'll figure something out and um yeah we'll link them all down. anybody else who wants to do this feel free i think JB, jb already tagged tasha um britney from playing your life if you'd like to do this that would be great if you just want to do it do it those are the two people i thought of or budgeting with elma come on i want to see it I want to see it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. And I'm super duper grateful for you. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Remember, all things are working out for your good for those who believe in God. And it's faith over fear this year, but not just this year, but what? Forever, 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 ever, forever, ever, 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 